Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. There is no question that putting together your own stove system can be super enjoyable, lots of fun. You can totally nerd out about it, get all the weights right. It's a lot of fun. But there's also something nice about just purchasing a kit straight off the shelf. It's exactly what you want. The Jetbull Flash system really changed the game in this kind of system many years ago. It offers you a highly efficient, compact, complete kit for a reasonable price. Now, of course, like all things, many companies have copied this design, and that's what we're gonna look at today. I hear it already. People are saying you shouldn't review these copycat systems. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but regardless, we're gonna talk about these systems from a company called Fire Maple. They're very popular on Amazon, and they offer very reasonably priced copies of the Jetbull. Now, I'll say up front, Fire Maple sent me two systems for free just to use. They did not ask for reviews specifically. They said, listen, we know you like these kinds of kits. Check them out. If you like them and you want to do a review, go for it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just use them the way you want to use them. I like things like that. I like them to give me that option. They did not send them with any, any preconceived notions of what I was going to do. But in the end, I think that these are the systems that a lot of you guys out there want to check out. They cost a third or half as much as a jet boil. And are they worth it? So today we're going to take a look at the Fixed Star X2 from Fire Maple. Let's see if it's any good. Thanks for watching, guys. Now, first of all, I'm going to make it very clear. I'm not going to put this stove up against the Flash or against my personal favorite, the MSR Wind Burner. I have full reviews on the Flash, full review on the MSR Wind Burner. If you want to know more about those specific systems, go over to those videos and check them out. We're going to talk about the Fire Maple today. I have several videos putting up these different systems against each other. Eventually, I'll do a full-on video with all the systems that I have, MSR, Jetboil, uh, the Wind Burner. I've got one from Camp Chef. We'll do something that kind of looks at all of them, but that's not today. Let's look at this X2. So this is the Fire Maple Fixed Star X2. I'm gonna get it out of its little mesh carrying case here. Mesh case is, is nice. It is nice to have mesh in case it's wet or something. You can easily just uh, put it in your pack. It'll dry up and not cause a lot of problems. There's the system itself. Dimensions closed like this are 5.2 by eight and open it is 10 by 10.4. The weight of the system with no fuel is 22 ounces. Power is 7,500 BTUs. It's made in China. Cost at the time of filming was $51.95. Now we'll look at the components. You can see up here, it's got this little latch here. You just pop this latch off. That opens up the handle. You've got a top, okay, which does have a little drain hole there in case you wanna drain water off. It comes with this, which is a pot stand for pots to use with this system other than the pot that it comes with. I do have a 230 gram uh, fuel canister it does hold a larger fuel canister. This is the burner itself underneath, just like all these systems. You just pop that out. It does have a built in piezo igniter. And just to show you guys, obviously, this pot it does come with the stabilizer. I won't use it, but it has a stabilizer for your gas canister. I won't use it because I don't need it. The pot itself is pretty large volume, it'll hold one liter and it'll boil just about one liter. One liter comes up to right up here, so you can safely boil that one liter uh, as long as you're careful, and it will allow you to boil that full one liter, which is a really, really big deal. You can see just your basic design at the bottom here. It's got these fins here that helps distribute the heat. So the one liter cook pot, the gas stabilizer, the burner, the multi-function pot stand, the lid, and as I said, it does hold a 230 gram Canister, as far as features go, it does have the heat exchanger pot. This is claimed to be 30% more efficient. Has the built-in piezo igniter like we talked about. Folding heat proof handle. This is a nice handle and it's fully heat proof, which is nice. Good thing about this system, it also has this neoprene sleeve. So even when it's completely hot, full of boiling water, you can grab it easily like this. You can grab it here and move it around. And you're not gonna burn yourself. As far as putting it together, obviously, you know, you, you put this and you screw it onto the gas canister, just to show it better in frame. This does lock in place, all right? It locks in place, so it does lock like that. The other cool thing, like I said, is you can get this accessory that comes with it for free, and pops on like that, and you can use any pot that you want on top of this. For example, if you wanted to use a pot the diameter of this 230 gram canister, you could do that. 
but it is nice that it has that available to it. It does do a pretty good job of locking into place. Pops right onto that spot. Doesn't really, you can't lift it up, okay, but it is pretty locked in place. Let's go ahead and boil some water. We're going to do a couple of things. We're gonna boil two cups of water. We're gonna measure the consumption. We're gonna boil the maximum, which is one liter of water, and go ahead and see the consumption of fuel as well. So let's start boiling some water. We'll start with two cups, and then we'll move over to the full capacity, which is one liter. Okay guys, you know what time it is. It's time for pros and cons. We're gonna start with the pros, and there really are quite a few pros for this system. Of course, the cost is excellent. It is high volume. It has a higher volume than most of the other systems from like Jetboil. It's very compact. It has everything in it that you need. It also has this neoprene sleeve, which is very helpful when that thing is smoking hot. You can just grab the neoprene sleeve and not worry about burning yourself. It also holds a larger volume canister, the 230 gram canister, which is nice. And lastly, it comes included with a stand for separate pots. You know, the jet bowl, you can get a stand for separate pots. You have to pay extra for it. And it's just another 15 or $20. This one throws it right in there from the beginning for the same cost. And it allows you to use any pot, not just the actual pot that comes with the system. As far as cons go, the weight is a little bit high. I also don't really like or favor the way that the lid latches on. It's got that kind of weird latch to it. Not not the biggest fan. It's also just for boiling water, which the Jet Bowl Flash is as well. It's not for simmering. This is just for boiling water, so be very well aware of that. You're not going to be able to simmer and cook with this type of system. You can with another fire maple system, the Polaris, that we're going to review a little bit down the road. So yeah, look, this is just a basic copycat of any of the Jet Bowl systems, except it comes for a lower cost and it comes with that pot stand included with the with the base price, which is a big, big deal. It works as advertised and it is over half the price of the flash system. If you have freeze-dried meals as part of your preparedness plan at home, and that's part of the way you expect to take care of your family, not just for camping, I'm talking about for like emergencies or preparedness. If you've got a lot of freeze-dried meals at home, which a lot of people do, you need to have a system like this at home. You get one of these, you spend a couple hundred dollars on um, little gas canisters. They'll never go bad. You can have them there for emergencies. It's very efficient. You can boil lots of water and you can make lots of meals for your family if there's an emergency. I can't say with certainty that you can use this system with an adapter for say a propane bottle, but or a butane bottle for that matter, but I'm pretty sure you can. Fire Maple sells those adapters. I have an adapter. I think you could probably just put the propane and then th that's a much more economical system, especially the little butane canisters, that would work even better. I don't know that it creates quite the heat, probably won't have the efficiency as it does with these little smaller pressurized canisters like this, but nonetheless, it's a lot cheaper. Like I said, I can't tell you for sure, I can't recommend it, it probably would work. In the end, what's not to like about this system? I know a lot of people are gonna say, you shouldn't review copycat products, you, you should not look at these things from China and say, we're gonna do this, look, the bottom line is, is that a lot of you out there do not have the money to spend on these very expensive jet boil or in particular MSR systems. And I want people out there enjoying the outdoors. I want you to feel comfortable going out and doing stuff. And you can build a catalog of gear these days that is much cheaper, heavier, yes, but works pretty damn well. And that's exactly what we're doing with this system. Yes, it is a copy of the entire concept of the jet boil. I'm not excited about that. But if I'm gonna do reviews, I'm gonna to need to do reviews on products that everybody is interested in. And every single one of you out there have looked at these Fire Maple stove systems on Amazon and wondered, are they any good? Well, that's why I'm here. At $50, this is a stove system a lot of you will be interested in, and I hope you enjoyed the review. Do me a favor, guys. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. 
I know a lot of you are not subscribed, so please do that if you don't mind. And if you wanna make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the notification bell and you'll be the first to know. I have a full playlist on all kinds of stoves, so make sure you check the playlist down below as well. Probably close to 140 videos now on all kinds of different stove systems, individual stoves, so check that out. As always, guys, I really appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Hope you like this video on the Fire Maple product. Look forward to the Polaris, which is the Fire Maple with a regulated valve that will give you a little bit more uh, control in cold weather, as well as control of the flame so you can do some simmering. Make sure you watch out for that soon. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.